So my second player on the list is a running back that we're going to talk about. Um, and a pretty solid one at that. And I think he has a strong fit. This guy's going to be a tremendous fit with the team he landed in. Devin Akane, um, adding him to the running back room in Miami is phenomenal. Um, I think I thought he's a pretty solid running back. He's my running back four in this year's class out of Texas A&M, 5'8", 188. I thought he was a very shifty and explosive back and honestly a true threat to take at the distance on any play. Um, and you watch some of his um, reps and some of his tape, there are some plays where he was a little bit shaky and, you know, isn't really getting the, you know, the big hits, and then all of a sudden he breaks free. Shows the top end speed and the acceleration um, on an outside run and just busts through everybody. Runs up the sideline with lightning fast stop and start speed, changing directions, exploding up the field, and he's gone like that, and it's a deep, long touchdown run. So that is a very appealing skill uh, skill set, especially when you think about the Miami Dolphins, a team with Raheem Mostert, who honestly, Devin Kane is Raheem Mostert 2.0. And Raheem Mostert's getting up there in age. Yeah, he's 31 years old. So you pretty much add his replacement long-term in Devin Kane in this year's class. And last year, Raheem Mostert in this offense ran for 891 yards and three touchdowns, almost five yards of carry. So I think similar production, you know, working with Mike McDaniel is going to be possible out of Devin Kane. And what is, you know, this is honestly the best fit as a scheme fit in the draft, in my opinion, with Mike McDaniel and adding him to the running back room. He doesn't have the power components of a running back, but honestly, that's not really valued within this offense anyways. They need an elusive, you know, route running, running back who has explosive top end speed. And that's what they added in a cane um, and has the guy had a solid year. So in 2022, rushed for 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns, 5.6 yards of carry. Um, from scrimmage, he had 1,200, almost 1,300 yards and 11 total touchdowns, 26 touchdowns in his career total from scrimmage. So he's going to work really well. I mean, that's to get some top caliber defenses in the SEC. Um, they also used him um, in kick return as well. He had two kick return touchdowns in 2021 and 2022 combined. Uh, so a very solid guy uh, within this team, within a, this, you know, as a team fit for the Miami Dolphins. I really liked him joining this squad, and they got good value on him um, as well. If we can pull this back up, pick 84 in the third round. Yeah, very solid. Mike McDaniel said he didn't expect him to even be there at 84. So I think this is a really strong fit and a fast guy. I actually pull this up as well. So we'll pull this up. This is from our legend, John Daigle, who actually, shout out John Daigle, number one mock draft this year. Um, most accurate mock draft. But Devin Akane, a 4-3-2, 40-yard dash time, 99th percentile. Tyreek Hill ran a 4-3-4. Um, that's a lot faster on the field from Tyreek Hill. And the same thing I agree with Devin Akane. He's faster on the field than a 4-3-2. Jalen Waddle, 4-3-7. And Raheem Mostert, who's definitely faster than a 4-4-3. Um, on the field so they have a lot of speed guys on that team and Mike McDaniel's gonna get the ball into their hands and work them out uh, very effectively as a unit and using all those guys together within that team so those are solid additions um, and a, a solid offense that they're putting together in Miami that they have their scheme and their bread and butter and they're gonna do it effectively like they did last year and a can is gonna help them um, add more depth with Jeff Wilson and Raheem Mostert um, and being you know a good three-headed monster back in that backfield in terms of speed guys you're going to encounter on defense. So I like a Kane, another solid pick, and a guy that I value as one of my guys from the draft. 